Hello, and welcome to Peacock Ridge Farm. I'm so glad that you're here today. Today, I am going to share with you a simple rose trellis. It's easy and affordable, and it's going to look awesome. These are the tools that you're going to need for this project. I have my drill gun with a bit. The bit needs to be just smaller than your eye hook. I have a screwdriver. This is what I'll use to, to tighten the eye hooks into the wood. I have some needle nose pliers and I have some cable cutters. For my project, I have 30 feet of a thin cable. This cable is great for outdoors. It won't rust and it'll last a very long time. I have a turnbuckle. When you're using your turnbuckle, make sure that you have it opened all the way. The purpose of a turnbuckle is to make your cable tight after you're finished. I have two cable clamps. These are used on the ends of the wires. And I have a total of eight eye hooks. Beans, it's going to be hard for you to see close up what I'm doing once I'm on my ladder. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm doing on my front porch. The first thing that I need to do is measure and mark where I want my eye hooks. Then I am going to drill the hole with my drill bit. Then I'm going to put my eye hook in and I will put the screwdriver through the eye hook and I will use it to turn. This um, is a much easier way to get the eye hook good and tight. When I'm ready for my cable, I will stick my cable through the clamp and through the eye hook, and then I'll go back through my clamp. And I'm actually going to wrap it back around just to make sure that there's less room in there and it'll make it a little tighter. And then on the screw ends, then I will use my needle nose pliers to get it good and tight. On the end with my turnbuckle, it's a very similar. I'm going to put my cable through my clamp, through the eye end of my turnbuckle, and then back through my cable clamp and again tighten them up. So let's get started. So I drilled my hole and stuck my eye hook in. Now I'm using my screwdriver to just tighten it down really well. So now I am going to stick my cable through my cable clamp and through my eye hook and back through my cable clamp. And now I'm just going to feed my cable up through the other eye hooks. And now I'll just start doing my crisscross pattern through the eye hooks with the cable. And then I'll go back down through my last hole and put my deck Okay, and the last hard part is you put your cable through your clamp, through the eye hook, and back through the clamp, making sure that it will fit in your eye hook. As you're tightening up your bolts, it's smart to just keep pulling the line, making sure that it's nice and tight. And then you just tighten up your turnbuckle and it'll take up all of the slack in your cable system, making it nice and taut. Okay, and the hard part is done. So now I am just going to start twisting my rose stems around. It 
will start growing in the shape that I want them to. The next step is I'm going to use some twine to wrap around my roses to keep them contained and then I will attach them to the cables. So as you can see the roses are all tied up, the cables are installed. Now over time as the roses grow I just need to train them around the cables and my dream is that the roses will crisscross over the gable and just keep on going. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I'm so grateful. Please follow me on facebook.com slash Peacock Ridge Farm, on Instagram at Peacock Ridge, on Pinterest and YouTube. Blessings to you.